So let's go over how functional locations has been added to our new mobile application. And before we get into it, let's talk about what functional locations is all about. Functional locations allows organizations to structure physical spaces that may be um, a little bit more complex than just a residential home. So whether it's a campus, a building, a factory, a farm, it lets you model out the location structure and place assets at the proper location. So it makes it a lot easier to go ahead and create work orders. What it also does is from the technician perspective, when they get out and they have a work order assigned to them, they can very, very easily click on that functional location, understand exactly where they need to go within that building, factory, et cetera. And they can, they can understand what that layout is in context of the entire space and where the assets are located. That's the concept of functional location. So from a technician perspective, uh, here we go, we're on a work order. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the functional location where this work order is assigned to, which is floor one. Now, if I wanted to, I could also click the asset, which would open up a very similar experience. So I click floor one, and I can go right now to my second tab called assets and locations. And right over there, because I click floor one, we can see that this is highlighted in this tree and immediately allows me to understand that it's part of the Advanta campus and it's an Advanta A and it's floor number one. And so I can navigate through this tree if I wanted to, and I can see whatever level it is that I'd like to, to get to from understanding uh, where the assets are, where the location is I need to perform the service. I could see it all in this really nice experience on the mobile application. So furthermore, what I can do is I can click on the show assets checkbox on top, and I can also understand exactly where my assets are in relation to the physical location. So now I see in floor one, there's a commercial refrigerator and a heat bed sensor. If I expanded Advanta A roof, I could see there's an HVAC unit, and that HVAC unit has a compressor, a condenser, a fan, and a thermostat. And you can also go ahead and you can, if you're not sure where it's located, instead of clicking through, I can also always just start to search. So I can start typing compressor. And as I do so, you can see the search dynamically finds that compressor, styles it so I can see that it's been located, and we can understand the compressor is part of the HVAC unit that's on the roof. And that gives you a really strong way to go ahead and visualize the physical structure as well as where all those assets are located. The other big benefit of this experience is around Let's say that I'm a technician, I need to add a brand new asset as part of my process. Or let's say I won a bid for a new um, agreement with a, a given customer, a given site. I may want to go ahead and walk the site and actually build out that location and asset structure um, with a rich intuitive experience. So what you can see over here is that if I'm walking the site, whether I'm starting from, from scratch or not, let's say that there is within Advanta A, I want to add floor six. I can just click on the ellipsis, I can click new location, click on floor six, optionally enter an address if that's relevant. And now all of a sudden I can see under Advanta A, floor six shows up as well. So it gives you the opportunity to really easily build out your location structure from the, from the mobile application. And lastly, I can also select floor six and I can add a new asset. So if I want to, if I'm doing a site walkthrough, I want to see what assets that customer has, I can click on new asset and it allows me to input that asset, which then will relate to that functional location, which then ties full circle to the entire service process.